This morning, I'm talking with Diana Dotson, who is surviving and living well with AIDS. Now, one of Diana's goals is to help remove the stigma that unfortunately is still around. Diana, before break, you were talking about how after you found out you were HIV positive, you went off to Puerto Rico because you, of course, had a lot of fear at this time. And I also know uh, that living, uh, what you eat and how you live your life will help um, your immune system. So I went to Ann Wigmore's uh, Institute and lived, learned the living lifestyle with natural uh, wheatgrass juice and, and living foods. And I believe that that's something that's kept me healthy and kept me going for the last 30 years. And I still live that living lifestyle uh, of natural foods and, and living foods. Now, you stayed in Puerto Rico for a while, Diana, but you did come back to Key West. Yes. And a couple years later, you had another life-changing event. Tell us about what happened. In 1998, I became uh, fully uh, full-blown AIDS. I got toxoplasmosis and had, was in a coma for about three months. And during that time, my friends here in Key West thought I had passed away. So they had a memorial for me and also memorialized me on the White Street Pier. So I'm probably the only living person on memorialized on the White Street Pier. And I do go back and forth from California here to Key West. And I came back um, in 08 and decided to run for queen with the prodding of Captain Tony and for Fantasy Fest Queen uh, to benefit AIDS help. And I... Uh, was asked, I became a duchess, and I was asked for the World AIDS Day on 08 to come and sing and uh, speak at the reading of the names. So I'm standing waiting for, my, for the names to be read, and I, it, the thought crossed my mind, that might be my name someday. And I heard my name. My full name is Davaline Diana Dodson, and they read my name, and I was in shock. But I went ahead and I, I did my song, and I spoke about my brother who I lost to AIDS in 1995. Mm -hmm. And it was uh, very interesting. And then the next day, I called the foundation to find out. It was Tom Murphy, a very dear friend of mine, who thought I had passed away, and he had me memorialized on the pier. Oh my goodness, Diana, what was it like at that moment when you did hear your name being read as being one of the victims who, who passed away. It AIDS. was very shocking to me, and I am writing a book, and the, how, I, how I made it work for me is I said, okay, that's the, that is the cover of my book, because mm -hmm. I'm still here, I'm still surviving, and I, I, my lifestyle and the, the medications that I take, the, I use coconut oil and cannabis. I also worked in California to help get 215 passed, which is the compassionate use there. I, I do a lot of activism. I just went to Washington, D.C. Uh, for the Unity Cannabis Conference in, uh, d in February of this year. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're working, I'm, I'm listed, I did a study in the hospital actually in 2002 that conclusively proves that um, um, cannabis is uh, an effective pain reliever. Mm -hmm. And so uh, there was a there is a Supreme Court uh, case that was heard uh, in October of last year, and the judges are still um, coming up with the with their ruling. But I was listed in that uh, study mm -hmm. of that and and in that. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Now, Diana, one thing I, I've noticed about you immediately since I had the pleasure of first meeting you is. You are such a positive person. I mean, you have such a great attitude. You're always so kind. You're, you just always seem to be in a good mood, too, and happy. So do you have down days, though, Diana, where you don't want to get out of bed in the morning? I have a lot of, a lot of uh, roller coaster pain. I have mm -hmm. autonomic neuropathy, which causes these cluster pains in my body. So yes, I do. Mm -hmm. But uh, I... I believe that it's your attitude, and I believe in staying in the vortex. I listen to Abraham and Esther Hicks, and I believe in staying in a positive way, and I think that what you put out is what you get. It's the secret of the universe. If you put out good energy, you're going to get back good energy. Mm -hmm. And I believe that's what's kept me alive, is I truly believe that, and I, I try to treat everyone with kindness and non-judgmentally. Now, Diana, I know one of the big challenges that you face, besides the pain, is that you've had to deal with some people who, 
who aren't educated about AIDS and HIV, and you've ran into some people who have treated you poorly because of it, what you have. It happens uh, every once in a while. I've had people say, why would you tell people that you have AIDS? Well, this is what I live with every day, and I don't make any excuses for it. I don't make any... Um, I, I just live my life and I'm, I'm who I am. And I think that uh, p when people are, they don't understand, they haven't walked, you know, they say walk a mile in my shoes. It's an invisible illness. People don't look at me right away and see that, that, I'm, that I have these, this issue. And uh, people just need to, to understand that you cannot get HIV from a hug from sharing a soda, sharing a cigarette. It must be blood to blood. And it, uh, that's something you want to you want to be able to make clear. And fortunately, we do have organizations like AIDS Help here in Monroe County that work really hard at educating people and, and getting rid of this stigma. They're absolutely wonderful. It was a wonderful experience to run for Queen. And I'm all actually an AIDS Help client. And uh, there's no other place in the country where I could live and have my housing taken care of. I, I had no choice but to come back to Key West. It mm -hmm. was, it's been my home off and on since I was a child and the, I've, I feel so blessed to live here and we really in this community um, I just couldn't be happier to be in a, in a community like Key West. Absolutely. Well it is a very open and welcoming and and kind and giving community. I could just keep talking you more can. and more about it. Now Diana you are doing wonderful to this day. You're happy, you're healthy, you're, you're looking great, and you're staying busy, too. Tell us about some of the things you're working on right now. Well, I'm, I'm doing uh, some radio uh, work on the 104.9, and I'm having a great time. Mm -hmm. uh, I enjoy uh, working. We're doing Dishing Up the Keys on Saturday, and I've been co-hosting with the, the Key West Rock shows at night. And I like the idea of bringing in, I'm doing a lot of interviews with our community, and I like the idea of be, being able to give our community members a voice because we have so many people who are doing such wonderful uh, philanthropic work here in Key West. We have more uh, wonderful uh, benefits going on all the time, and I like bringing our community in and letting, showing the community what we're doing. Absolutely. Well, listen for Diana then on the radio, and Diana, I'll have to have you back again. Truly, thank you so much for being on with me today and for sharing your story with everyone. Thank you so much, Jenna. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages, so please stay with me.